Good day to you. My name is Michael Kafka, Dr. Kafka. I'm the head of the emergency uh, medicine department in the uh, Benetian Medical Center, which is the uh, municipal city, or, uh, municipal hospital of the city of Haifa. Uh, we, give, we give here the service, the medical service for all the citizens of Haifa. Uh, in the past, I was in the army for many years. I served in the Navy. I was uh, special unit, a commander unit, uh, underwater um, uh, soldiers, uh, and uh, then I became the head of the uh, uh, medical services uh, of the Navy, the chief doctor of the Israel uh, Navy. Since that time I was in the clinical practice, uh, I finished internal medicine and uh, I am now also a specialist of emergency med medicine, and for the last 15 years I am the head of the emergency department of City Hospital of Haifa. We had uh, in the past a lot of experience with um, explosions and mass casualties, especially during uh, two, 2006 when there were uh, explosions of restaurants here, the Matzah restaurant, the Maxim restaurant, uh, buses were exploding in the city of Haifa. And then later we had a lot of experience during the Second War of uh, Lebanon when Haifa was targeted by missiles from the Hezbollah in Lebanon. In the last years, we are getting ready for all kinds of mass casualty phenomena, including industrial um, poisoning from the factories, industry factories in the vicinity in case of the explosions. Also mass casualties of mega terrorism, terrorists in the streets, terrorists in the restaurants as in the past, also, we get ready for biological incidents, bioterrorism, for radiation incidents. All this we have to be ready for in the future. As you know, lately there was a war here in Israel, the Tsuk Eitan uh, operation, which is actually a war, where the south was hit mainly. But the, the missiles in the south are self-made missiles. Some of them are from Iran, but they are not good quality missiles. We know that we have the um, aim from the north, uh, from Lebanon. Lebanon is a regular army, which is also governed by the uh, Lebanese uh, government. The Lebanese government is now composed of Hezbollah people. The weapons and ammunition that they have are from Chinese origin, Russian origin, also Western origin, and also self-made. As you probably know, during the uh, last uh, 2008 war, the Second War of Lebanon, our hospital was hit by a missile from the north. Uh, this was the, in the last day of the war. Uh, we are now uh, getting prepared to all kinds of scenarios. One of them is uh, the uh, uh, war in Lebanon, which can uh, happen any day. It's just a matter of pressing buttons. The weapon. Uh, that is uh, in the hands of the Hezbollah, which is now in the government of ne Lebanon. The weapons are composed of missiles that are, that are much more sophisticated. They are not handmade, they are not homemade, they are Chinese, they are Russian, they are weapons from the West, all with the very, very exact um, uh, components. They have much more ammunition in them, they are much more destructive, and they are exact. We are one of the aims of these uh, uh, missiles. We know this very well. And that's what we have to get prepared for. We have to get prepared for a possibility of a mass casualty here, or even mega-terrorism, from these sophisticated weapons. It's just a matter of pressing a button. It's not something that uh, we can uh, plan before can be some kind of uh, tension between the armies, some kind of political conflict becoming, getting into extreme, and immediately the whole thing can flare up. And we have to get to prepare for that. We are still an unprotected emergency department, an unprotected hospital. We are like a field hospital. This can happen to us any minute, and we will get these missiles the one that hit us in the last war, many more missiles, much more exact, much more with much more ammunition and much more destructive. 
This is something we have to get prepared for and we'll do our utmost to get a protective place to treat the patients. And in the meantime, we are taking the risk of being in this, like a war hospital, like a field hospital, still giving the medical service that our citizens and soldiers need.